Each summer, on the pristine Monterey Peninsula of North Central California, some of the most breathtaking natural splendor to ever roll toward the horizon is overtaken by a different kind of majesty here at the annual Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance. A car that captures a trophy at Pebble Beach becomes an even more priceless commodity. Here at the Double Tree Inn on Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey, hundreds of well-heeled and big-moneyed heavy hitters in the vintage sports car firmament have gathered for the RM Classic Car Productions Sports Car Auction. Right up front, we'll tell you this isn't the place to look for someone's used Triumph Spitfire or partially restored Bug Eye Sprite. The menu here is strictly upper crust. This is where the big dogs go shopping. Mike Fairbairn is one of five longtime sports car junkies who created RM Classic Car Productions after building a highly renowned vintage restoration business in Ontario, Canada. Well, this is the largest sports car auction in the world. And one of the unique things about it is that most collector car auctions accept all kinds of cars. Here, we take only sports cars. And the sports car segment is one of the fastest growing segments of the collector car industry. And the reason is because there's an awful lot of folks out there that are reaching an age where they remember these cars and they love them. And they're now maybe at a point in their life where they can afford to buy uh, you know, something that they always wanted to have. Before bidding actually begins, those with a million bucks or so burning a hole in their tapered Italian cut trouser pockets can eyeball the Ferraris, Porsches, Jaguars, Aston Martins, and other high zoot items in the paddock. Well, the paddock area is a, is a compound where we display all of the cars prior to the auction. It gives the bidders a chance to poke and prod and have a look around. It makes for a very enjoyable evening, and it's a perfect lead up to the auction sale, which happens each night. And oh, what nights they are. What could several hundred thousand dollars buy you? How about an original 1955 Porsche Spider, raced by the late racing legends Ken Miles and Richie Ginther? A 1931 Alfa Romeo Competition Spider? And an all original 1966 427 Shelby Cobra in mint condition, unrestored with a thousand miles on the odometer. The high bid, $250,000. The audience at the auction is comprised of genuine players and those who love watching others drop lots of their own money. Reggie Jackson easily falls into the former category. If the gallery doesn't seem to be moving very much, it's either paralyzing envy or the fear that scratching their nose could unintentionally raise the bid on a half million dollar classic. Luckily, the RM crew knows how to work the room. Well, our auctioneer is Dan Cruz. He's one of the most respected auctioneers in the world. He's out of San Antonio, Texas, and, and he specializes in collector car auctions. Uh, also, when you look on the auction block, you'll see four or five men, they're called ringmen, um, and actually we have one ringman, ring woman, her name is Marsha, and they work uh, back and forth in front of the crowd, helping the auctioneers spot bids, because with a crowd this large, it's very difficult to see everything. Sometimes it can be very confusing with bids coming from different locations, so a bidder that wants to buy a car will grab a ringman and uh, stand next to him and make sure that he's the current bid, for example, on the car. Mike describes the car that was easily the star of this marketplace of the millionaires. Oh yeah, we got some terrific vehicles here tonight. One of the most important is a, is a 1963 Jaguar XKE lightweight roadster. This car belonged to a man named Howard Gudovlenko. He was a very active race car, a fighter pilot, really a hero kind of of comic book proportions. And uh, he owned the car ever since it was brand new. It's one of 12 built and collectors today are really excited about the car because it was thought to have been lost. And so we discovered it. It was literally in a barn where he parked it after racing in 1963. We know we have bidders from five or six different countries coming just for that one car. Put your hand up at 710, got it. Now 720, at 720, 715, now 720, at 720, 715, 20, now 725, at 725, at 725, 85, did he win the bid? 800. Let's give this man a great In case you missed it, and I doubt you did, the Jag brought a cool $815,000. Yikes. Even if you can't pay the freight on one of these big ticket budget busters, this isn't a bad place to just hang out. The venue is a spectacular setting, and the Doubletree Hotel here at Fisherman's Wharf is kind of a classic setting. 
People have made this a pilgrimage, you know, literally every year. I see the same bitters here from Switzerland, from Germany, from Italy, uh, literally from around the world, and they come back only once every year, and they always come to Monterey because this is where it all happens. So let's give him a big round of applause, 40,000. Well, Mike, you sold us. <laughs>